Herbivorous animals, while not as bold as predators, can also be extremely dangerous fighters. Certain individual bulls resist entire lion prides, and even a timid zebra, in order to save its life, can trample its enemy. Now you will see the most epic cases in which herbivores demonstrated that messing with them is not a good idea. With their elongated snouts and smooth movements, moose have gained a reputation as peaceful and calm animals. Their strength is underestimated. Predators also make this mistake. In reality, moose are incredibly powerful animals, weighing close to a ton. Moreover, they are always in good shape. Moose can run for miles without rest, escaping from pursuit. In addition, moose are intelligent and aware of their advantages. For example, this beast went into deep water. Moose are excellent swimmers and can even dive. But here, the hoofed creature demonstrated cunning. Its shoulder height is greater than that of a horse. A moose can calmly stand at a depth where a wolf has to constantly paddle to stay afloat. The wolf cannot fight the moose, so it soon gets exhausted and retreats. It underestimated the cunning of this herbivore. Yes, moose prefer to run away from wolves and other predators, but if you corner herbivores, they will fight desperately. In battle, moose use all the advantages of their size as their main weapon, powerful, huge, and massive antlers. If deer use antlers as piercing weapons, then moose antlers are essentially battering rams. Simple, without frills, but incredibly effective. One moose with its antlers and powerful hoof strikes can literally scatter several wolves as if they were made of paper. But even if a moose doesn't have antlers, it can still drive away a bear. As if it's not the continent's largest predator, but some audacious cub. Medicine with a moose is a bad idea. For one mature male, only six or seven adult wolves might dare to go on the hunt. If there are fewer predators, one can only sympathize with them and hope that someone will take care of their wolf cubs. Predatory animals are often smaller than those they hunt. Compare the dimensions of a lion and a buffalo, a wolf and a moo. Hoof animals win in size and mass several times over, yet predators continue to successfully hunt them. This is thanks to the fact that most herbivores tend to be skittish and panic-prone. When a predator ambushes or startles its prey, it can't utilize the full potential of its size and offer proper resistance. Bulls are an exception to this rule. Horned, powerful, and very strong, these animals seem eager for the opportunity to measure their strength against predators. They too can be made to panic and flee. They are not always able to fight on equal terms with large predators. Nevertheless, it is bulls and buffaloes that more often than other herbivores turn around and choose to fight instead of fleeing. Sometimes bold individuals can fight even against enemies with a numerical advantage. Just look at the courage of this hoofed creature right here. It faces several lionesses, and most importantly, it succeeds. A massive lioness armed with claws as long as daggers is simply shocked. The bull decided to teach her how to fly. One strike, and the predator, weighing as much as a small motorcycle, lifts off the ground with all four paws and performs a true acrobatic feat. A genuine feat that deserves your life, doesn't it? Moreover, buffaloes often gather in huge herds that numerically far exceed lion prides. If bulls spot predators, they use their advantage and immediately attack. It looks incredibly frightening and epic. Lions have to climb trees, just like ordinary cats. And if buffaloes manage to surround several predators, they will ram them, try to trample them, and drive them as far away from their herd as possible. In fact, there are several types of herbivores that, at the first sign of danger, switch to counterattack and immediately engage in battle. 
meet the Oryx antelope, a born fencer. It has long, straight horns that slightly curve backward. Most herbivorous species use their horns for battle with their kind, for example, during the mating season. Of course, horns are also used for defense against predators, but much less frequently. The oryx is an exception. The horns of this animal are specialized weapons against attacks by carnivores. Usually, the antelope holds its head in a way that the long and sharp horns prevent a predator from unexpectedly jumping onto the neck. If even a large predator attacks the oryx head on, instead of attempting to escape, the hoofed animal prefers an honest fight. It turns towards the enemy and lowers its head so that a running lion, hyena, or leopard will run into the point. Such tactics require the animal to be cool-headed and resilient, and the oryx excels in these qualities. If the predator fails to stop and collides with the horns, it is unfortunately guaranteed to sustain a severe injury. Stabbing strikes have less stopping power than slashing or crushing ones, but they pose a greater risk of internal organ damage. Any modern fencer can confirm this. The blade easily penetrates flesh and destroys internal organs. If the antelope's horn strikes the abdomen, it can damage the stomach or intestines. Not only is this incredibly painful, but it also guarantees a fatal inflammation for the predator. If the horn hits the head, there's a high probability of damaging the eyes. Pretty terrifying, isn't it? Predators are uneasy about this too. It's good if the lioness realizes her mistake in choosing prey at the very last moment, stops, and runs away. The oryx tactic works 100%. Stabbing strikes are less effective than a powerful paw strike, so even if the horn injuries are a large predator, there's a chance it will finish off the antelope. Besides, experienced hunters can dodge the antelope's horns or make the oryx panic and turn its back to the enemy. However, the willingness of this hoofed creature to risk itself just to deal with the aggressor on its own is enough to deter many predators. So, powerful predators rarely attack oryxes, which also gather in groups. Paradoxically, those who are willing to fight to the end are less often forced to fight than those who will run away from any threat. What are your thoughts on this? This lioness thought that she could catch an impala by surprising it. The impala is incredibly fast, but now it has no room for maneuvering and acceleration. The lioness, however, underestimated her opponent. The impala not only runs fast, but is also one of the most maneuverable creatures on the planet. The hoofed animal reacted lightning fast to the lioness's pounce, literally leaped over the predator, then turned in midair and fled while the lioness was engulfed in dust. Zebras and wildebeests are the favorite prey of large predators in Africa. These herbivores unite in huge, often mixed herds, numbering tens and hundreds of thousands. By migrating across the savanna in these enormous groups, they search for abundant water sources into vast pastures. Joining herds is part of their defensive tactics. However, if you think that antelopes and zebras form armies for active protection against predators, then you're mistaken. These herbivores simply huddle together with their backs to each other. Despite their impressive physical qualities, zebras and wildebeests are skittish and prone to panic. When a pack of hyenas or a lion pride surrounds them, the herbivores scatter hoping the carnivores will catch someone else. Therefore, wildebeests and zebras almost never come to the aid of those caught in front of them. After all, in doing so, herbivores risk falling into the clutches of the predator, something hoofed animals almost always avoid at any cost. Almost. Among them, there are courageous individuals willing to risk themselves to help their fellow species. There are also strong animals trying to escape danger, but willing to show a few self-defense moves if necessary. 
And you know what? If a zebra decides to fight, even a seasoned lioness will regret engaging with such an opponent. Firstly, zebras have hooves to fend off the predator if it gets close enough. But besides that, a zebra is armed with teeth. While herbivores don't have pronounced fangs, these hoofed animals feed on tough vegetation, with which they grind with flat and large teeth. A bite from these jaws is very painful. This lioness surely regretted choosing such a bold zebra as prey. The zebra can literally pull the predator off its comrade's throat, allowing both herbivores to continue fleeing while the enemy recovers from the shock. Or, the zebra may break free from a predator's grasp, then pin the lioness to the ground and start biting her. Additionally, zebras are capable of delivering powerful kicks during desperate chases. For example, there's footage where a zebra knocked the breath out of a lioness, performing a kick like a boxing champion's uppercut. Or, it stunned the lioness with a powerful hoof strike to the jaw. Anthony Joshua would definitely envy such accuracy, wouldn't he? One hit, and here comes the knockout. It's not just about catching the prey, you also need to finish it off. These leopards forgot about this simple hunting rule and unfortunately paid the price. The spotted predator caught its prey, managed to knock it down with powerful paw strikes, and reached the throat. However, leopards don't sever arteries on the neck. They strangle their prey especially if it's as muscular as a wild boar. Another leopard decided to snatch the prey from its competitor, leading to a battle between the two predators. But it was a mistake. They tangled with a boar that was too strong and enduring. It withstood the strangulation, and when the panthers got distracted by their scuffle, it slipped literally between their claws. The leopards were shocked. They underestimated the strength and will to live of the boar. Just one last second, and the predators were left without lunch. This is not an isolated case. Here, a leopard unexpectedly ambushed a boar and managed to bring the victim to the ground, then clamped onto its throat. But the boar continued to scream even when the fangs were compressing its trachea. And it worked! This attracted the attention of a hyena to the noise. Fighting with her and continued to strangle the powerful boar was too much for the leopard. However, the hyena doesn't understand that the boar is squealing not from pain, but from rage. She thinks that she can take away the ready-made meal from the leopard and even maim the competitor. But she underestimated this boar. As soon as the panther loosened its jaws to fend off the aggressive hyena, the boar quickly rose, showing its tusks, and scattered them both. Although the leopard had just managed to bring him down, it was due to the element of surprise. In terms of brute force, the boar proved to be superior. Just to see how he tossed the leopard off with one swift blow. The cat miraculously avoided severe injuries from the tusks. And the hyena is in shock. She just realized what she got herself into. She can't resist the boar's charge, and the hoofed animal quickly escapes from the predators it gave such an impressive resistance to. A bit sorry for the leopard though, isn't it? Or do you always root for herbivores? Share your opinion in the comments.